Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen. So, I've been at it all day. Um, it's the third video today. And they're all going to be joined together, finally. So, I will uh, post the uh, the links to the other videos um, in um, here somewhere. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a steak pizzaiola over spaghetti squash. It'll be very keto friendly. The spaghetti squash is only going to be about uh, 43 calories and about 10 grams of uh, carbs. Um, we're going to use a cheap cut of um, meat, a, a chuck steak, um, because um, it, it, we, we can let it simmer and let that uh, marinara sauce uh, break it down. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so. I salt and peppered these. I didn't. I forgot to put the camera on. But what I did was I salt and peppered these, and I and I massaged it into the into the steak. We we're using capers and garlic in this dish. So um, again, you can use um, any thin steak you want. I I just figure. Let me get the cheapest. Um, and see how it comes out. You want a, a high rim pan here because um, we're going to sear this. We're going to put some olive oil in here. And we're going to sear the steak. You know, let this get good and hot. Do a couple minutes on each side till we get a nice color. That's what we want. I'm going to put these on a dish for a second. Get, the, get that garlic in there. We don't want to burn the garlic. We don't want to step away from it. Turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, so... Now, I want to put some marinara sauce. Okay. Capers here, it's probably a tablespoon. Um, I don't want any of the juice, I just want the capers. And now those steaks are going to go back in. And we want to add enough sauce to generously cover the steaks. And then we're just going to let this simmer. So 
so now we'll, we're going to turn this down to simmer and we're going to cover it and we'll check that in a little bit so this has been going for about uh, 30 minutes and um, it looks good um, now depending on how thick your steak is depends on uh, how fast it's going to cook uh, but even if you go and you let this um, like cook until it falls off the bone that, that's fine so we're, we're going to plate this up and um, the calorie count on this I, I double checked on Google so nine ounces of meat which th this is a lot of bone here so I, I'm, I'm assuming this is pretty close to nine ounces of meat is um, 600 uh, 600 plus calories and then like I said I think the um, squash is going to be another uh, 40 something calories so let's just say this this dish is going to be about 700 calories. That's still not bad. I'm just going to put a little bit of that sauce on my squash. There you have it. Steak pizzaiola with spaghetti squash. We'll do the weigh-in. Okay, so I checked and my, uh, my last weigh-in, which was about a week ago, I was 282.4. So... Same thing, same thing, 282.4. Well, I weighed myself uh, with uh, different clothes on earlier and uh, it came out lighter, but uh, I, I would I would have, a, I'd have to agree that this 282.4 is about the same. I've been, I've been um, slacking on the calories. I've been, I've been eating more calories than I should because I, I just still have the sugar crave that I can't get rid of, so. Um, I, I'm, I'm eating anything I can to satisfy that. So I think that that's what my problem was, is, and that's why I um, I uh, pretty much didn't uh, lose any weight, is because um, my caloric intake is, is probably a little bit more this week than it has been in the last three weeks. But anyway, um, I'm still uh, happy that I'm that I'm progressing. I'm learning how to eat a little healthier. You know, uh, different. Uh, recipes and all that you know crazy jazz so anyway um, and I will gain more weight because tomorrow's Easter and I'm making a leg of lamb video to follow and um, I'm, it, I'm gonna make it a cheat day um, I, I maybe if I satisfy my uh, my craving for sweets by giving it a little dessert or something and maybe that'll satisfy it for a while anyway so uh, this is John Campbell the Nuts and Eat Chef bye